Hey friends, it's Brian. It's uh, time for Jeep 47, the 47th video in the project to rebuild this Jeep. Um, so today what I'm going to do is I got to move this engine lower. Right now this thing would take uh, half of a football team to turn it over and that's not okay. I could go and I could spend a few hundred dollars on another engine stand, but I'm going to try something first because, you know, if I had a lot of money to spend, I'd have bought a new Jeep, but I'm really picky about how I want this done, and I'm trying to be cheap, too. So, well, you know what? Let's not call it cheap. Let's call it thrifty. So anyway, um, I did some online research, and it suggests that the cam should be way closer to this instead of the crank, um, and that might make it a lot less top-heavy. Uh, right now, it feels like it would flip over if I sneezed near it. <laughs> yeah, no, not quite that bad, but really close so anyway um i'm gonna put it in time lapse because i really don't think there's anything exciting about me um shifting bolts and using my hardly freight um two-ton engine stand or engine hoist oh, i'm sorry two thousand pound engine hoist uh this stand is rated for a thousand pounds maybe all the way up against the side um, this engine weighs about 600 pounds and this is like I don't know, it just seems sketchy. Um, so, you know, it's probably would collapse at 1,005 pounds. So, anyway, um, let's do it to it. Um, so, without further ado, let me get started on this. Okay, so I'm not sure if you guys saw it, but I actually had enough sense to zip tie the washers and nuts for the balancer to the balancer. And man, was that a smart decision because it made it so much easier to find those washers and nuts when I needed them. So, uh, you know, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hook it up and we're going to see how balanced it is. So... So that's going to get it in here. I'm quickly remembering that this was something of a clusterfuck. There we go. So we got that one down there. So you want to get this as low as possible um, if you're like me, you're working in your garage and you're working by yourself because you just don't have that much room to work with. I mean, I've got a, oh, it's probably an eight or nine foot ceiling in here. Yeah, quality was not job one. You know, when the boxes of gloves were $2 a piece, $3 a piece, I didn't really give a crap if I had a defective glove in there, but at what they're selling them for now, I'm kind of annoyed about it. things first. Try to knock it off there. Um, seems good. Let me find the sockets for that. I'm going 
gone through a bunch of sockets like socket holders lately. I'm trying the I had some really nice looking um, socket holders from um, Lyle, but they turned out to be junk. So I got rid of them. Well, these are metric, so let me get rid of these because this is not what I want. I want the standard set. I'm still not sure these are right either because I, I really want to be able to pull all my sockets out at once. All right, that's the right size, so it's 9 sixteenths. Let me get... It's a little more entertaining if you can see it. So, moment of truthfulness. First, we're going to pull this out of the way. Well, you got to be fucking kidding me. Different sizes. So these are ready to come off. So I bought a bunch of washers to serve as a spacer. I really, really need like more. space to set shit, but that's the story of my life.
All right. Um, see if we can get this out of here. I'm watching my hands because I don't trust any of this. What I don't want to do is jump and pinch me. Because again, I'm working by myself and, well, it's easy to get bit. So the engine's free. We'll go ahead and set all this down. And I think part of the problem is, I think this is upside down. And I did grease it. That does make a nice difference. I don't trust that pin any farther than I can throw it. Let me change gloves. about a hundred and what the fuck out uh, t today. It's really hot. Um, fortunately, I have air conditioning in my shop. It's not perfect in here, but it's a lot nicer than it is outside. For the less fun part, we're going to try and put this back together and we're going to lower it. But we want this to be pretty substantially lower. So at about almost 3 sixteenths of a turn, it will start lowering slowly. not done but I'm working by myself so I want to go slowly and in one piece at a time and one of the questions we've got to ask ourselves is how low can we go that looks like it's gonna be about it I don't think we're gonna get that low so let's see if we can rotate this like this and get where we want to be. All right, that, that has potential.
All right, so that's approximately where we want to go. And it's still going to be, not going to be able to reach um, what I need to reach. Well, let me bring it up some. These can all come back in. I guess the other way I could do this, I could take this off and try to mount it to the engine. What the hell just cut my glove? Let me try this. I've not done it this way before. Um, probably a really good reason I've not done it this way before. Yeah, so that's on the wrong side. So there's, there's one. Let me change gloves again. I'm going to move the camera. I feel like a fat girl on a balloon trying to put these things on. see a way to make the width work for me.
So, I think this goes back on here. I think trying to fasten that to the engine is um, a folly. And if I had a different um, I could probably do it, but I, I just don't see getting this engine on here, um, and that means that I'm going to have to change the engine stand. I don't think this is going to go much lower, so let me let me rotate it and just bring it into position and see what happens. to conveniently rotate 90 degrees because there's not a swivel on it. Okay, so probably shouldn't grab the oil pressure sensor, but I can grab that and then come back. So what I did is I loosened the ear that I'm working on. I just want to kind of bring that snug. Time for new gloves. I'm going to go through a lot of gloves on this engine. It's filthy. All right, where did I set that box? Oh, up there. Yeah, my guess is I have to replace the engine stand and get a geared one that I can rotate over. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it back on the stand. Just to double check that I can't adjust this stand to do what I want it to do. And one of the things that's frustrating is there's really nowhere, there's nothing hard on the front of the engine that I would trust to hang the engine on. Um, I don't even see any hard points on the engine period. I mean, there's nothing that approaches like a balance point on this engine. 
that's a, I mean, some engines have hooks built into them, and you know that that's where the designer wanted you to pick the engine up from. This engine doesn't have shit. Well, actually, it has shit, but it doesn't have anything that I would consider a safe place to hang the engine from. Okay, so that one's started. I'm going to go ahead and snug it. I can't even get these, like, they're not going to go where I want them to go unless I pick the engine up. And even then, what I really need to do is I need to be able to rotate this, and I can't rotate this because these uh, air conditioning lines are in my way. I guess I could undo them and pull them off, but I'm probably going to have to pull them off. Um, just rather not have holes in the air conditioning because it's fragile enough on Jesus it is. Yeah. I don't have a choice. needed. I think I think that's needed on the back side. Yeah, that makes that a lot more stable. I've got the washers on the inside and I, I just realized that's not really where they need to be. I don't think this changes the fact, I, I don't think this engine stand's going to work. But I would be frustrated with myself if I went out and spent the money on a new engine stand and I didn't spend 30 minutes trying to fix this one. If I had a plasma cutter, I'd just go buy a piece of steel and I'd fix this shit the right way. I'd make a mount that went where I wanted it to. So, 
Now the question is just how do I how do I finagle this to get it to go where I want? So I'm going to kind of split the baby here, and uh, I've got the bottom one started, but I've got the whole assembly loose. So I just want to see what happens here if I can. Enable this to where I want it. Against what I would consider my better judgment, I'm going to put the um, all the mounts on the lower side. That's the only thing that gets them where I need them to be. So that gets that there. And now this is just going to go in this lower section. And again, it just it just gets me into the neighborhood that I need to be in. pleasure of fighting this pen. <clears throat> Alright, there we go. That's nice and messy. Problem is, this puts this back there. And what we really need... So we need to pick this up a little. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take these air conditioning lines off because they're really interfering. And that's going to be a metric project because everything on this fucking engine is metric.
I don't think this, uh, again, I don't think this changes, but I'm going to chase it to the end. Looks like I've got a bolt down here that needs to be loosened. What's frustrating is this bracket is underneath, oh there we go. That bracket's underneath the head bolt, and I really don't want to take those off. or paper towels to stuff in there with a blunt object so that I don't get debris inside my air conditioning compressor because again I don't want to buy one of those today either. So that, that protects that. And what that does is freeze this up. What a piece of shit handle. I mean, why do they even bother to make this? It's a piece of shit. And this part's not much better either. Bullshit Chinese manufacturing at its best. Use a 20 cent cast plastic part where you should use something that can handle the load. Okay, I feel like that's lower than it was. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten these. And 
Okay, so the other ones are going to have to be tightened with, uh, well, I probably can get that one. <clears throat> All right, I might have to get a uh, magic wrench. Oops. I don't see a magic wrench, so I'll just use a box one. A magic wrench is a ratcheting box wrench. All right, so those should all be tight. And now I need to tighten the parts that hold to the stand. Those are three quarter inch. And I will need a box wrench for that as well. So let's just see what happens when we lower it. And then the next question is, is it strong enough It might be strong enough to turn it. I think we can. I think I can. So I'm going to flip the engine over. God help me because probably all sorts of shit's going to fly out of here, but I'm going to try. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do first is I'm going to raise this so that I can use the engine hoist to my advantage. Um, I'm going to take it all the way out. Well, I didn't do a good job here because I don't have a whole lot of pain. But again, I, I want to bring the hoist way up so that I'm not doing a whole lot at once. I 
Okay, so that looks good to me. I'm going to give it that much space. I'm going to get my oil pan out. Fuck you, don't piss on the floor. Just had to get that out of the way because you know what's about to happen. It's going to piss all over the floor. I think we're almost balanced. Um, I don't, I really don't trust this. I want to see it. I have a longer bar, so let me see if that'll fit in there. I doubt it will. This really doesn't feel like, I mean, this is what size it should be, but I don't think this is going to fit in here. pipe it is too small let me I, I'm pretty sure I got a piece of half inch around here somewhere and I can't I I, I do it's it's tied up in a pony clamp though to be tossed, but I think, just need to toss that in for now, I think this will fit on here, yes it will, and I feel a lot better about that. So let's see if we can turn the engine over without flipping it over. Nice and slow, nice and slow. And again, I'm gonna be mad if this thing pisses on the floor on me, which I suspect it will do. Actually, it seems pretty well balanced. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna play with fire. At this point, this isn't going to do anything um, except get in the way. feel like this wants to like piss on the floor and I'm not going to really like in that. I hear things.
All right. Well, that was definitely worth my time. I saved myself the $400 it would have cost to uh, replace the engine stand and now have easy access to the bottom of the engine. So guess what I'm going to work on now? The bottom of the fucking engine. Anyway, thanks for watching my expletive laced anxiety ridden uh, flipping over of the engine that I really don't want to replace that has shit wrong with it. Let me show you how I got this mounted in the back. And it did run before I took it out, so for my armchair critics. So the problem is when uh, the previous owner bent the frame, this boss snapped and this boss snapped. And so I got something special to fix that. Uh, hopefully that's going to work. And we're going to save this engine and we're going to save this Jeep. Damn it, I told you not to piss. Yeah, that probably isn't supposed to be there either. Um, so anyway, here's what's going on in the back. Uh, I've got everything on the bottom because that gets the center closer to the camshaft and that's the, apparently the balance point for a fully dressed engine. Thanks for watching. I hope this, I really hope this helps somebody who's working on a Jeep and who has the exact same problem I do, which is you have a lot of friends, but they all have shit to do the moment you ask them to come do something with you. Um, so anyway, now that the uh, engine's upside down, I'm gonna stop this video because I got more videos to do. It's gonna be a fun weekend. We're gonna take it apart and get it put back together but better than it was before. Uh, we're gonna build back better, ha ha. Uh, now seriously, so we're going to deal with the infamous Jeep main rear seal leak because every Jeep I've ever owned has one. We're gonna change the oil pan gasket and we're gonna go ahead and change the oil pump and the oil pump pickup while we're in here because it just needs to be done. So again, thanks for watching. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe, hit the alert button so you find out when I put, publish new videos and um, you can find everything related to the Jeep build in my playlist for Jeep build. Thanks again.